హలో డియర్ స్టూడెంట్స్ వెల్కమ్ టు దేవికాస్ కామర్స్ అండ్ మేనేజ్మెంట్ అకాడమీ టైమ్ వ్యాల్యూ ఆఫ్ మనీ ఓవర్ ఆర్ యూ పర్ఫెక్ట్ దెన్ కమ్ టు ద క్యాపిటల్ బడ్జెటింగ్ క్యాపిటల్ బడ్జెటింగ్ ఆల్సో వన్ ఆఫ్ ద ఇంపార్టెంట్ ఆస్పెక్ట్ ఇన్ ఫినాన్షియల్ మేనేజ్మెంట్ యూ నో దాట్ వెదర్ ద ఆర్గనైజేషన్ ఇస్ స్మాల్ ఆర్ బిగ్ మల్టీమినియర్ కంపెనీ ఆర్ వాట్ ఎవర్ ఇట్ మే బీ దే హ్యావ్ టు టేక్ ద డెసిషన్స్ వెన్ దే హ్యావ్ టు టేక్ ద డెసిషన్స్ capital budgeting this is going to be helpful for every organization and every management decisions investment decisions generally it will be two types of decisions one is uh, small term and long term small term investments below one year any investment if you do that doesn't make much difference in the organization but whereas if you are investing on long term or capital expenditure like purchasing assets expanding the business and uh, doing some renovations which is large scale so those type of investments that makes lot of difference in the organization those type of investments long term investments or you can say capital expenditure type of ex- uh, things all these things whenever you want to take you need to be much careful so for this purpose this capital budgeting is going to be helpful in capital budgeting we are going to discuss different methods each method will tell you whether we have to accept or not say i have i want to invest uh, say 50 lakh rupees on one project whether it is good or not how much i can expect it in how many years i am going to get back and what is the rate of return like each and every point about my 550 lakh investment i'll get details and i'll get details of two to three projects not one project we don't accept easily because my investment is huge 50 lakh 1 crore 2 crore or 10 crores i'm investing when i'm investing i need to be very careful that what is the return and how many years it is going to take whether it is profitable or not and uh, how many alternatives are there that is also important only one we don't take two or three are minimum alternatives minimum it may be more than that four five also we can observe minimum two to three alternatives means options we'll see and according to that which option is good which option is fruitful and all these things will observe and then we'll put our investment and then we'll take the decisions that would be to some extent definitely 90% wise decision only for all this purpose what is useful capital budgeting methods okay in short what you can say what is capital budgeting means you got an understanding okay in short what you can say capital budgeting means practice of making decisions in capital expenditure practice of making decisions related to the capital expenditure capital expenditure means nothing but uh, expenditure on fixed assets expenditure on long term investments that is capital expenditure okay so practice of making decisions when you want to take the decisions related to the capital expenditure related to the long term investment that is capital budgeting this capital expenditure decisions we say it as investment decisions also there it is going to be useful now we will see few concepts like first thing is that steps in capital budgeting before going to the steps in capital budgeting i must tell you kinds of capital budgeting decisions kinds of capital budgeting decisions when do we use this capital budgeting in which areas when how it is useful first thing is that replacements when you want to replace one asset is there so which costs around 5 crore or 10 crore that i wanted to replace it but because it is not giving the fruitful results it is not giving the proper outcome then i wanted to replace it the cost is more our expansion i wanted to expand the business for that purpose i wanted to invest it then that is also one of the major decision making major investment and also purchasing a big assets i did not write here purchasing the big assets that is also one of the kind of capital budgeting and also diversification funds i want to diversificate diversification means suppose say uh, as per my requirement of my organization 10 crores are required 10 crores are required so i have accumulated i have invite, invited all the shareholders and uh, arranged this 10 crore rupees but right now i'm using only 6 crore only what about the rest of the 4 crore 
that is diversification diversify it invest it somewhere but you have to get some result out of it so how you can diversify which area you can diversify that is also comes under the capital budgeting and also research and development you want to do some research some new methods new techniques in the present scenario you can't follow the old, old methods as per the technology you have to update for research and development r and d so for these are all the main major areas you can say it as a kinds of capital budgeting decisions you will take the capital decisions budgeting decisions because of these all these things now coming to the steps in capital budgeting there are simple steps of following this capital budgeting first thing is that generating investment proposals first of all i wanted to generate the investment proposal i wanted to invest where to invest how much to invest is it required how much it is required when it is required where i can invest it so that i have to generate it generating investment proposals first generate it proposal that is the initial stage if that is there the next step onwards what you can do see the next step estimating cash flows for the proposals estimating cash flows i have generated investment is required how much investment is required suppose for for example 1 crore is required requirement is 1 crore but cash flows for that proposal how much i am going to get that is cash flows for that proposal 1 crore if i am investing means what is the cash flow for that proposal so that is the estimation second step once if you estimate it third one is that evaluating the cash flows whatever you have estimated is it correct or not how it is correct how far it is true shall we make any kind of changes so that is we say it as evaluating cash flows once if you know that evaluation of cash flows then fourth step comes step comes to selection of project as i told you when i wanted to invest something definitely two to three alternatives are there we will see first investment process how much is required then also we'll estimate the cash flow evaluate the cash flow so these three proposals these these three processes it will be for at least two to three two to three alternatives say alternative 1 alternative 2 and alternative 3 for three alternatives i have gone for these three steps are you getting it i have gone for these three steps then after that selection of project which project is good according to these steps if i feel that b second project is good then i'll select the second project and third and first one rejected in capital budgeting selection or rejection criteria is also important why you have selected this second project why you have rejected this first and third project that is also will be discussing in the capital budgeting am i clear so that's about the selection of project once if you have selected the project not yet completed process of capital budgeting last step is that monitoring and revaluating monitoring about this second project second project selected okay how to implement it whether it's working or not generally these are all uh, long term investments once if you invest it uh, the decision is irreversible very rarely you can change you can alterate this decisions but that makes a loss are you getting it that makes a loss for the organization that is why they have to take the decisions because long term heavy investment selected properly and implementation is we say it as a monitoring and also reevaluate reevaluating good or not in the initial stage if you find that uh, this is not good some other project you got it some other alternative say fourth alternative or one or three is good if you find something is better than this second second selection or second criteria immediately you shift it in the initial stage only later stage it is very difficult are you getting it so that is why these are all the steps you have to be very careful in the capital budgeting decisions and another important concept is why do we need this capital budgeting why do we need capital budget capital budgeting is useful in two ways the need of capital budgeting tells you in two ways one is it reduces the cost and also increases the revenue 
we select such a project such an alternative which is going to reduce the cost compared to the other alternatives and we select such a project such an alternative which is going to increase the revenue compared to the other alternative means the best the best project we are going to choose it so that is why capital budgeting decision is the best project how do you say which increase which decreases the cost cost or you can say which de reduces decreases the cost and another one is that which increases the revenue decreasing the cost increasing the revenue what else is required so that's the need of capital budgeting with this you got an understanding what is capital budgeting anyway in the coming classes we are going to work out capital budgeting decisions in detail but right now small understanding what is capital budget that is required and also i'll tell you today's class that methods capital budgeting methods how many methods are there mainly two methods are there just i'm giving you clarity about this each and every method will be discussing in the next class okay capital budgeting methods are mainly two types of methods one is traditional or non discounting traditional or non discounting okay traditional methods these are traditional methods are how many are there one is payback period method second one accounting rate of return this accounting rate of return we say it as average rate of return also you can you just remember average rate of return in short this we can say it as a arr some of you might be remembering rrr no arr accounting rate of return or average rate of return payback period method accounting rate of return or average rate of return these two methods are under the traditional methods or you can say it as a non discounted non discounted discounted we heard it in the time value of money non discounted means simple one discounted is always present tables values as per the present table value will be calculated in discount rate so these two are non discounted no need to use the present table traditional methods we have formulas just we have to implement that formulas very easy nothing to worry next class will work out and second method is that these are, these are all traditional non discounting methods traditional methods second one is time adjusted or you can say it as a discounted cash flow time adjusted means according to the time we'll select the project we'll choose the decision or you can say the discounted cash flow means we'll use the discounted tables also that is present table values also we can use it so this you can say it as a uh, modern methods also traditional modern methods modern methods are this time adjusted or discounted cash flow this modern methods are discounted methods are four types one is net present value net present value we say it in short npv calculate npv you will find it in the problem calculate npv npv is net present value second one is internal rate of return internal rate of return also in short form we'll say it as irr internal rate of return okay arr irr rrr okay internal rate of return this is also modern method and next one profitability index profitability index method we say it as in short pi profitability index okay last one is terminal value uh, in practical we don't use much but we have this method also total four methods time adjusted or discounted cash flow what are uh, what are those methods first one is npv net present value irr internal rate of return and pi profitability index last one is that terminal value got an understanding next class we'll focus on this methods then after that we'll see this methods want to feeling like taking a screenshot yes examination point of view i can teach you directly but if you get depth knowledge 
it will be useful for your theoretical knowledge also what is capital budgeting why we have to use there are some mba students b school students also following our talks and also there are some lecturers also following so the best of knowledge i wanted to give you whatever best okay so please follow it don't forget to share this videos everything is free of cost for you all make utilize of it check out the playlist take out your syllabus what is matching then take out that playlist use it prepare notes clearly and practice well okay good luck